Skaleguero Castle is a fortress from the Skaleguer era, access point to the historical center of Sermione on Lake Garda. It's one of Italy's best preserved castle. In 2019, it was the 22nd most visited attraction in Italy with 308,459 visitors. Sermion is a commune in the province of Brescia in Lombardy, northern Italy. It is bounded by the communes of the Zenzano del Garda, Lombardy, and the Pecciera del Garda in the province of Verona and the region of Veneto. It has a historical center which is located in the Sermio Peninsula that divides the lower part of Lake Garda. So this is like in the border of Veneto and Lombardy area. This is so beautiful and so relaxing places to see. The first traces of human presence in the area of Sermion dates from 6th and 5th millennia before Christ's settlements on Palafiti existed in the 3rd and 2nd millennia before Christ. Starting from the 1st century before Christ, the area of the Garda, including what is now Sermion, became a favorite resort for rich families coming from Verona. In the main Roman city in northeastern Italy, the poet Catullus praised the beauties of the city and spoke of a villa he had in the area. In late Roman era, 4th and 5th centuries AD, the city became fortified strong point defending the southern shore of the lake. A settlement existed also after the Lombard conquest of the northern Italy. In the late year of the Lombard Kingdom, the city was capital of the judiciary district directly subordinated to the king. Ansa, wife of King Desiderius, founded a monastery and a church in the city. Around 1000, around the year 1000, Sermion was probably a free commune but fell in the hands of Scaliger in the year 13th century. Mastino e di la Scala was probably the founder of the castle. In the same period, Sermion was refused for Patarinis. His hereticals, the military roles of the city continued until the 16th century, but a garrison remained in the castle until, until the 19th century. Sermion was a position of the Venetian Republic from 1405 until 1797 when it was acquired by the Habsburg Empire. It became part of the Kingdom of Italy in 1860. We just arrived in uh, Lake Garda. This is the Sermione Castle. Yeah. Uh, how beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember there's a lake, uh, the river, uh, or how do you call it, like a uh, uh, bridge. Yeah. How beautiful.
So we just finished the day here in Sermione, that's the castle Sermione in Lake Garda. Lake Garda is one of the biggest, actually the biggest lake of Italy. It's bigger than Lake Como. So it's another romantic destination for Shantaya romantic travelers. And this today, this uh, our uh, itinerary, it's a blast. We started in Madonna until uh, uh, Corona and in Verona and then here wow what a day so uh, I'm gonna end up for today uh, our video and we're gonna go back to Milan later on and we hope we still have time for the Duomo night shooting uh, of the Duomo later. Uh, later and I'll see you later there and tomorrow we're gonna be in Venice so thank you very much and Arrivederci We decided to have a light dinner here in uh, Sermion uh, because it's about two hours going back to Milan and we don't have time to eat later on so we just have uh, we're here in Bounty Ristorante the Bounty the Bounty Ristorante and actually uh, we just order just uh, sa uh, shrimp salad and for the uh, is the real shrimp. shrimp so that's it for and then I have my apparel spritz for sure and this is it and the apparel spritz I love it so I will try my first bite of the shrimp salad well, I know that it's like fresh and creamy so I'll just squeeze some <laughs> I'll see. Okay. This is it. Mm. Really good. You're right. Might take almost a thousand island. Yeah. It's really good. It's so fresh. Yeah, fresh. And the shrimp. It's really perfectly. Um, I think we steam it first. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll try the good shrimp. Yeah. Mm. It's the crunchy. Really good. Can just try it, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Okay, so first, this one is Good. Is that full fried? It's like the uh, cream cocktail, mm -hmm. right salad. Good salad, yeah. But yeah, the, the dressing is so good. It's not like, so sweet. It's like a little bit sour, but yeah, you know. Perfect day. Balance. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this one? It's not overly cooked. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's um, perfect. tender, but it's not like those of, uh, overcooked, like powdery, but this one is really no. perfect. The sauce is good too. Mm -hmm. I think you put some butter. Right? Yeah. It's good. I don't know what's the yellow, but yeah, it's really good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Fried uh, Aperol Spritz here in the famous uh, Aperol uh, uh, Terrassa. Uh, in front of uh, the side of the. It's very good. Yeah, we're, we're vlogging, so, you know. <laughs> That's it. So, this is the Domo. And uh, so for the last. Uh, uh, the last uh, upper road strips, last spritz for the from Milan, you know. So this is the famous. This is where the upper road spritz uh, started. It originated in Milan. So that's why we have to try this here. And fortunately, it's only uh, you can have only for 20 minutes because we're gonna close by 11. But at least we can just drink a little bit and then we're gonna take a good night sleep. <laughs> I don't know. And we're gonna get up by 5 o'clock tomorrow. So, okay, I'll see you later. We're gonna, I'm gonna take some video there later. And uh, video and uh, I'm gonna take the night shot of the Milan. Okay, ciao. This is the Campari trip.
is the side of the Dubo Cathedral. So Sermione in Lake Garda. We just got back around uh, 9 o'clock. Wow, what uh, almost uh, 13 hours. We're tired, but this is the last night uh, in uh, uh, Milan, so we need to have a one night, uh, one glimpse of Milan. And since uh, it's desert people today, it's nice to take a night shot of Milan Cathedral. And also, we're gonna go inside uh, later on in Galleria uh, Vittorio Emanuele. So we can do some uh, uh, time lapse there and also uh, uh, some night shot. So it's nice. Okay, guys, and then tomorrow uh, we're gonna be in uh, Venice. So we're gonna get up early by five o'clock. So we might have a four hours of sleep. So, and we're gonna be in Venice. So I know a lot of uh, you guys asked me about how I did this. You know, they asked me about if I get a travel agent, if uh, I rented a car. So I'll go one by one. So remember, last week we came from O'Hare to Copenhagen, Copenhagen to Milan but we go uh, remember the mistake that I we made went. so we uh, we stay one night here in Milan and then somebody from our hotel in uh, Bellagio pick up us like a transfer from Milan to Bellagio so we stay in Bellagio for three days so we do a lot of uh, uh, trips there in by boat so the first we go to Varena so you asked me about how much it's gonna cost. It's about nine bucks for the uh, back and forth uh, boat ride uh, from uh, Bellagio to Varina. Varina is another beautiful uh, romantic uh, island and part of Lake Como. Nine dollars, like nine dollars each. Euros? Ah, uh, nine dollars. Sorry, nine euros. nine euros. So the next day we went to uh, Via Balbianello, that is in Leno. And that's the same thing, it's nine bucks also. So it's another island. So the Via Balibayanello is that where they filmed the Star Wars and the Casino Royale. So probably you saw it on my video already there. And also, uh, the best, uh, I think gelato is there. Do you know what's the name of the gelato? I forgot. I forgot. But that's the best, it's in Lino. When you walk from the pier going Leno. to Lino. Le uh, Leno, Leno. So then, on the third day, we just stay in uh, Villaggio and just to rest and then uh, roam around, you know, explore a little bit on the park. We don't have chance to get to uh, Melsi, uh, Villa Melsi, it's not really, you know, so it's not really uh, fantastic than the uh, Villa Belvianello, it's like a garden there. So I said, we'll just stay there and then just eat, you know, because uh, you know, Bellagio, it's our last day in Bellagio. And then the next day, we came here in Milan. So we uh, uh, asked the, the, the people from the hotel to the transfer from Bellagio to Milan to our hotel here, you know, a star hotel in Milan, which is close to Domo. So either you, can, you have two choice, uh, but we have a lot of luggage, so you can do a, a a, bo a ferry ride from Bellagio costs nine bucks, uh, nine, nine euros to Varina, and then you're gonna get a train from Varina to Milan. So you can do that, which is cheaper. So, but since we have a lot of luggage, so I just, you know, I just want to relax and everything that's so stressful. So 
I just pay a little bit, you know, extra just to get here. Then we're here in Milan. So that's our first day. We just uh, explore Milan, uh, the Duomo. We ate something good there in uh, uh, Vittorio Emanuele. And then we went to Castel uh, for Cesa. And then uh, we have an uh, aper uh, aperitivo, eh? aperitivo in uh, Navili. Remember, you see this area? And those are the nightlife in uh, Milan. And then the next day, this is today. This is a big trip. And then tomorrow, so we're gonna get up early and we're gonna ride a train, uh, which is the uh, bullet train, which is faster. So it's about two hours ride from Milan to uh, uh, Venice. So I think it costs about, uh, about, let's say 60 bucks, I think, or per person, you know, 60 euros. And then, when you get to um, uh, Venice, Venice uh, I know there's no uh, the, there's no land transportation there. It's all by boat, so we can go up taxi, a uh, boat taxi to uh, bring us to our hotel, and then that's how it is. And then every day I will let you know, I will give you details how we do it. And if you have any question, you can make a comment. You know, you can you know how you know I do that, and I will yeah, right, willing to comment. help you. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm telling you. The best thing to do, prepare ahead of time, you know? The tips is at least three months ahead, you know where you're going, you, you create your own itinerary and watch YouTube, okay? You can watch my channel and other, our, our oh, sorry, our channel, the Shanteya Romantic Travelers and also other uh, uh, YouTube uh, channels also because those are the uh, things that what I, that's what I did and it helps me a lot. You can just do where to stay, what to do in the uh, certain uh, city, where, what to, to eat, what's the best food. And you know, there are some th things that you're gonna do top 10 in those things. But I will do those also after I finish the whole adventure, you know, for, you know. But the thing is, I don't have enough time yet to upload. So that's why I do the food yet first. Okay, so guys, uh, I'll see you on my next video in, uh, uh, in our next video in uh, in our next video in uh, Venice and Arrivederci. Okay, ciao.